In this video, I'm going to show you how to create gradient backgrounds in Dreamweaver. This video is inspired by a post by Elliot Harris in the URL shown here. Let's take a look at Elliot's ideas. Step one is to open up my file in Dreamweaver. I've done that. This is my page.html. That's what I'll be using to demonstrate and it's currently opened up as well with the styles which was our step three to make sure we have our styles open so file is open uh, the styles are open and in step four we locate uh, the next empty spot to build the style and we're going to build a class style Next, we'll populate it with the content. I'm going to copy this from the site and paste it in. Once it's pasted, step six is to go in and make sure that the container is using the new gradient background. I'm going to switch over to my source code, find my container, and attach the gradient background. Once accomplished, it's time to save it and test it out. I'm going to test mine in live view. And indeed, it does show my proper background, dark to light. Step eight will invite us to have some fun with the color choices. So a couple of things need to happen. I need to make changes to the lines, in my case, nine, 10, 11, and 12, so that I may have the optimal colors, so that I know what the optimal colors should be. I'm going to go to the w3schools.com and choose the color picker page. I'm following the link. Once the page has been pulled up, I simply find the color that I'm interested in. If this is the color I'm interested in, I may copy and back in Dreamweaver, decide to paste. Maybe I want a different color for it to blend into. I'll go choose another color. You could also type these in as well, but copy and paste is always nice. So whatever colors you choose and whatever optimal size of container that you have, this is a quick, efficient, easy way using cascading style sheets in order to create the gradient backgrounds without the use of imagery. These are going to, of course, load much faster and be much smoother in appearance on the screen. Thanks again, Elliot, for your inspiration for this video. Please check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to code efficiencies, also best practices when developing and building your websites.